My buddy Will put up a video the other day saying that if he had to start all over, what he would do and how he would change. And it got me thinking. If you were really gonna start over on your reptile collection, what would you do? Let's talk about it. So what's the first thing that I would change? First thing I would change is definitely doing research. Uh, I'm not saying that I didn't do research, guys. Don't, like, you, you know me, you've known me since the beginning. If you've been around that long, I always, always, always say do your research. I should have done more myself. Research is key, guys. Whether it's ball pythons or whatever, whatever your collection is in, do your freaking research. You wanna jump into this, find someone to mentor under. Mentors are a huge, huge freaking advantage in this. Like, you learn how to do it right, you get practice doing it right because you're working under somebody for a little while or you're working with somebody and they're mentoring you on this, whether it's just a friend and you're coming and you're hatching clutches already and you know what you're doing. So taking a mentorship and doing your research is the first thing I would change. Number one, most important thing, get the research right. Get your hands on, get the practice in, so that you're comfortable when it comes time for you to start breeding your own. What about the animals themselves? Would I change those animals? All honesty, I don't really know. I couldn't answer that. I got a lot of the animals I got because I fell in love with them. Um, right off the site, for one, like, as soon as I saw the animal, I wanted it. So I can't really say that I was wrong in buying what I bought. What I can say is I was misdirected because I didn't think, I didn't have a vision for where I wanted to send it besides the fact that I wanted to make blue-eyed leucistics because I freaking fell in love with them. And I was like, well, I don't know if I ever want to pay three, $400 for a snake. And lo and behold, thousands of dollars later, I've paid upwards of six, $700 for a snake now. So would I change an animal? Not really, because as long as you're buying quality animals, it really doesn't matter. And what I mean by quality is this. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that's the girl that we're really trying to get to breed this year. Um, it looks like she's gaining size more and more. I thought I had an ovulation with her. That was proved wrong. Uh, and the weather here has just been so hot and then cold and then back to hot and cold. It's just flip-flopping so much. We're having a real issue trying to get our breeding going here. But I think, I think we're gonna get it with her. I think she's... Wait, you mean GHI is not your style? Hmm, what about this? No, that still wasn't good enough? Let's try one more. There's no doubt, there's nothing but quality in my collection. Well then you're saying, well John, 
it must be the system, right? It must be the racks, it must be the thermostats, it must be something. No, I'm perfectly happy with that. I mean, I can't complain with my system. I got it set up where I'm really happy. It may not be the nicest or the top of the line or anything, but it works for me. And that's what's important. Do what works for you. What I'm saying is what I would change I would change the time that it took me to get into this. This is my passion. I know it's my passion. It took me until I was 30 years old to finally dive into my passion. 30 years old. I've known that this is what I want to do for a very, very long time since I was about probably 16, 17 years old. I've known that my work needed to involve animals more importantly, that it needed to involve reptiles. And it took me until I was 30 to finally jump the gun and do something about it. Now here I am, a year later, almost two years later, after I started keeping again and started to really push after it. And we're just now getting to the point where I can call this a, even somewhat of a business because we're just now breeding. We're just now getting education shows. I've had help from lots of people, get lots of mentorship, and it's something I wish I would have done sooner. So that's my answer, guys. I wish I would have started sooner, and I wish I would have gotten mentorship a lot sooner in this aspect of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much. Do me a favor, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button for me. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Nah, I don't know. Do me a favor, go subscribe and hit that notification bell right next to it. That way you know every time I upload a post, which is gonna become more frequent again. Sorry, it's been a little crazy for my new baby is coming. Uh, so that's just, it's coming. Get ready. You guys have a great day. We're going to see you soon. Stay blessed.